Hello everyone, Vita Zay for you back with another duck video and today we have Dystopia from the Joker and the Thief. Beautiful tuck case, lots of gold foil and red foil as you can see and it says Dystopia. There's a nice skull on there on a steering wheel. And there's a J and T on there. Also within this steering wheel you see the odometer and it says Joker and the Thief in red foil as well. And you see the road down here, some white UV spot ink I guess that is. Very nice tuck case, chains, bones, all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> On the one side it says Joker in the Feet, established 2015. And the other side, same thing. The top, there's some artwork, but you can't really see it. On the bottom, the logo says Joker in the Feet, jtplanecards.com, and you say. In the back, that's not the back design, don't worry. But it's an engine with fire around it. Wing details, it says Godspeed on the bottom, lots of bones and skulls. Custom seal, it looks like a piece of uh, paper or rag that's been ripped up and it's got the logo on it, nice gold foil. Very cool. Now this is from Kickstarter by the way, they did this on Kickstarter. You can probably get it on the website though. On these flaps you get the logo again, JT. And on this one you get a skull with flames coming out of its mouth and it says Road. That's it. Road kill, sorry. Actually, I just see that. I just noticed that this road kill. That makes more sense. Just road. <laughs> On the bottom side, you get a JT, and then in inside down there it says dead end. Of course it is. <laughs> and a nice pattern of skulls and bones and chains right throughout the inside in foil. Just very cool, all around. For the deck, first of all, you get a that card. You can see it looks like there's gold metallic inks. There's an ad card that says Joker and the Thief playing cards, established 2015. Stay in the loop on the social media links and take your photos at Joker and the Thief. Hashtag Joker and the Thief. Very cool. And you see the skull and there's also a star on the bottom. The back design, very interesting gold colors and black colors. You see engines, motorcycle engines, no doubt. With the mufflers, I guess. You see chains, it says... Good luck and goodbye on the sides. There's some skulls, there's some flames, there's bones, there's these pillars along the sides. There's all sorts of stuff going on in there. It looks pretty cool altogether. It's very interesting, different. You also get another card that says, Welcome to the Wasteland. <clears throat> the story of the Joker and the thief descends into a world of fire and rage. Will you survive the apocalypse? Good luck and goodbye. <laughs> very interesting. Now, of course, for the Jokers, you get the Joker. It says Joker in the corner, gold metallic inks. And he's wearing his bandana. He's got some, he's on fire. He's got some flamey bones and a, a gun that says Joker. <laughs> and the other one, same idea, is facing the other direction. And it says Thief in the corners this time. And on his gun as well. He's also on fire. And he's got some dynamite. So it's a pretty interesting idea. I like custom Jokers like that. The fun. The Ace of Spades, <clears throat> a nice custom pit. It says Joker and the Thief on it with the logo. <clears throat> there's a little horse on the bottom. There's a skull. There's the engine in the background. There's bones, all sorts of stuff. And the index, custom with a little skull in the pit. The court cards, pretty interesting. Kind of a new take on the standard court cards. They got red eyes like they're on drugs or something. <laughs> And they're holding steering wheels, and that one's committing suicide. There's the Queens. The very, um, what's the name of that movie? It's on the tip of my tongue. I just don't remember what it is, but obviously very post-apocalyptic. The, the Jacks are all dead people, as you can see. The skulls, skeletons. <clears throat> very, very nice court cords, though. <clears throat> Kings look like they're high. The tax are dead. <laughs> Queens are looking pretty good. <laughs> and that's that. The number card's fairly straightforward. You do have their standard type of pip with the um some 
they, this is the same thing they have in the other joke on the thief decks. The pips have some like wear and tear on them. You see, there's little paint flicks missing. I'm trying to find the, the right word to describe it, <laughs> but that's what you get, as you can see. Very nice, and they're also not straight lines, as you can see on the pips, they're jagged edges. So it's just like the other decks, and the faces are a similar style as well, which makes sense. They got a signature style. It's printed by the USB-C. I did not get to check what stock in Finnis, but I'm assuming it is a crust bicycle stock, and obviously an Ercus in Finnis. Pretty thin, so it's probably, definitely, a, I would say, a crust stock. Handles very nicely, pretty nicely. I'm going to say for this one, overall, I'd probably say... Nine out of ten. Nine and a half, nine and a half out of ten. Very nice. I like it. I oh, can't really find too many things wrong with it. That I can think of. It's pretty nice. It's a nice idea. It's an interesting theme. Um, handles good. Looks good. Nice gold metallic inks. I like it. You can get it from, well, probably from your favorite card shops. And definitely from jtplaincards.com. Don't forget to check out collectibleplayingcards.com and use the code VJOSAFE to save 10% your order. I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.